This section demonstrates a self-locking finishing knot on a medical model using suture materials. Make one final straight stitch on your continuous suture as a relatively close distance to the previous stitch. You can point the dissecting forceps at the place where you want your needle to come up and apply a slight amount of counter pressure towards the tissue. This makes it easier for you to enable the needle to reach the right place. Grip the needle with the dissecting forceps, release the needle holder and use it to pull the needle through while following the curvature of the needle. If you only have enough suture material left to make a knot, simply cut off the needle to avoid needle stick injuries. Remember to dispose the needle correctly in a container for sharp disposable objects. If you have a lot of thread left, turn the needle tip in towards the shaft of the needle holder and fix it in this position, again to avoid needle stick injuries. Put down the dissecting forceps so you can grip the needle holder with the non-dominant hand. By holding the needle holder towards the palm of the hand, you will allow free movement of your thumb, index and middle fingers to work with the thread. Avoid tightening the stitch, instead push the thumb and index finger through the loop formed by the stitch. You can twist the stitch one full round as this makes it easier to make a tight knot. Grip the end of the thread with a precision grip and pull through until you make a new loop. The original loop formed by the finishing stitch is tightened by pulling on the part of the new loop connected to the original. Repeat this until you have made three loops in addition to the original stitch. Then pull the end of the thread through and tighten. You can guide the needle and needle holder through the loop because the needle is firmly fixed against the shaft of the needle holder. The knot has a tendency to lie down next to the wound edge, but if it does not, make sure to guide it through to the side of the wound edge in order to avoid preventing the wound from closing. Cut the ends of the thread about one centimeter from the knot.